John Maxwell here. Welcome to Minute with Maxwell. I'd like to talk to you today about delegating. I'm really good at this, and I can help you. When I was a young leader, I uh, couldn't afford a staff. I was just in a very small country church, and they couldn't even really pay me a good salary. But I really needed some administrative help, and I knew that if I was doing administration, I surely wasn't going to be doing the things that perhaps had higher priorities for me as, a, as the pastor of this congregation, the little congregation that it was. And so I, I brought some ladies together, and I asked them if they could help me each one a, a, a day of the week and, and help me with filing and administrating. And uh, they bought into it, and I sat down and basically told them what I liked and how to do it. And I did my best, and I kind of got my volunteers ready. And, and that's basically what we did for the next three years and a half while I pastored that church. What I learned as a young leader is very simple. Anything that I can do that somebody can do also, they should be doing. The only thing that I should be doing are the things that are the top priorities of my life. Those I must do. Everything else I must delegate. Now, delegation isn't because I want to be lazy. Delegation is because I want to be priority driven and I want to be able to have a high return on what I do. So to delegate, the first thing you do is not ask, who do I pass the ball off to? Ask yourself, what do I be, need to be doing that no one else could do or should do? That's the question I always ask. I ask myself very simply, what do I need to do to help the organization that will help them more than anything else? Because whatever that is, that's what I should be doing. Then what I do is I delegate all the other stuff. There's not a higher compliment I think that you can give a person than to either A, ask their opinion on something, or two, ask them to help you. And I think a weakness that leaders have a lot of times is they just don't ask people to help them. And so the people would help them, but they don't know what to do, and, and because they've not been asked, they don't. So I would say as a leader, the first thing you do is understand that if you're going to be successful, you've got to focus on the top priorities and give your time, effort, and energy to those. The things that are required of you, the things that give you the great returns, and the things that give you the most reward in your life. Stay there. Work on those things. Everything else, pass them on. Give them to someone else. Delegate them out. Today, I am a master delegator. My wife will tell you, basically, I got it down in life, and there are only a few things I do, and I do those few things really well, and everything else, let's let someone else do it. You may have to start off with volunteers like I did before you can ever have a team that maybe can help you. But here's the point. Everything that you do that isn't a high priority is to reduce your effectiveness down and keep you from reaching your potential, and even more sadly, keep your organization from reaching its potential. So ask yourself simply every day, what do I have to do that no one else can do and no one else can do it better? And that's a higher priority. Once you settle what those few things are, and there'll be a few, you can count them on one hand. Trust me, you're not that good. You don't do that many things well. Whatever those few things are, stay in your sweet spot, stay in your strength zone. Everything else, dump it or delegate it. My name's John. I'm your friend. Glad you're with us today on Minute with Maxwell.